Hey there, today I want to show you why the Hunter Guild is amazing for your Iron Man account and give you some tips and tricks I've learned along the way from doing a hundred plus Hunter Guild rumors. So I got 112 and I've almost gotten a green log with the pet, the Huntsman's Kit, and almost a full outfit without the boots. According to the wiki that's still being made, the full set bonus apparently gives you 2.5% catch rate increased and also increased chance for a rare creature part by 5%. You get tons and tons of useful supplies for your Iron Man. You get these blessed bone shards that you can use for the new prayer method. As you can see here from around 100 rumors, I, that's about 100k XP per prayer right there for those 20k shards. They're about 5 XP each, but you can use Sunfire Splinters, which you actually get from hunting the new antelopes and you can use these to make each of these give you 6 xp each instead of 5 xp each so that's a nice additional drop you can get you can bank a lot of herb lore supplies like kebet's teeth for secondaries you get a lot of rainars and other types of herb drops from this and lots and lots of bird's nest if you don't enjoy doing bird house runs as much additionally you get lots of hunter meats that are actually some of the best in slot foods now some of them heal even more than some of the best fish in the game but their healing is spread out over heal over time effect as you can see right here not everything is tracked but this is loot from 60 of my hunter rumors just to give you an idea of what some of those herb drops cash and birdhouses will look like. After 10 hunter rumors, you'll be able to get the Quetzal Whistle that'll let you teleport straight to the Hunter's Guild. To get it, you just go up this ladder right here and you talk to this guy to claim it. To recharge the whistle, you wanna come up to him with meat in your inventory from wall pyrofoxes, kayats, or antelopes, and then you use them on him and he'll recharge your teleports. You can get increased teleports by getting the blueprints from the hunter sacks. There's two different blueprints you can get for the enhanced whistle and the perfected whistle. And just to show you those sacks right here, I'll open a couple just to show you some loot. I got three, money, some meat, and some logs. A little bit of everything. At 7200, you can do the expert rumors. That's the one that I do. To get a rumor, you just go down the stairs right here, and then you'll wanna to talk to either of these guys, Eiko or Teko right there. And I'll actually show you how you can basically set a block for our hunter rumor just kind of like a slayer test block so right now he wants me to kill the saber tooth cats and then if i did not want that rumor i could talk to teko right here and then he'll ask me if i want a different one to hunt for him instead and then he'll give me one now the one he gives you stays so if i decide not to do this and i just go back to echo for my other one i can pretty much permanently block a task which in my opinion you want to do for Razorback Kebbits. This one in general is probably the worst one because you have to track it and it just takes the longest, takes the most attention and all that. So I would recommend if you get a Razorback Kebbit, leave it on one of these guys and then just get your tasks from the other. All the other Hunter Rumors in my opinion are not that bad. If you find one you absolutely hate that's not Razorback Kebbits, then I would just leave that on one Hunter and then do all of your rumors from the other expert instead. Now, if you decide to do Razorback Kebbits, make sure you bring an Opal Ring Enchanted, which is a ring of pursuit. This gives you a one in five, four chance, 25%, to show the entire tracks of the whole thing. Instead of having to search five times, you get one search, you go to where the track's in, and then you're good to go just like this. Boom. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do my hunter rumor and show you what it looks like when you get a piece. For my inventory setup, I always like to bring a chisel hammer for birdhouse runs and to chisel down some antelope shards, a knife for setting salamander traps, my tackle box to start bringing fishing nets for my salamander traps, bone crusher. Bone crusher makes almost every single hunter rumor better because it buries the bones instantly so that's one less thing you have to get rid of out of your inventory so your inventory fills up really fast when you're getting meat antlers bones hides and all of that at the same time i like to bring an axe because deadfall traps and pit traps you need to get logs and there's usually logs nearby the cut room pouch with my teleport to my house coins so that you can do the falcon kebits where you need to have money for that. And usually you wanna have nothing equipped. That way when you get there, you can go straight into it. And then my Huntsman's Kit, which you get from the rumor sacks. It can hold 
box traps, butterfly nets, your outfits, teasing stick, jars, and hunter spears. You want to make one of these because the hunter spear is basically a better teasing stick that gives you a 5% chance to lure the monster. When the cats jump across that I'm about to show you, it has a less chance of that happening. A lot of the hunter areas you can get to by fairy ring, so you do want to have a fairy ring close by in your house. I'm going to fragment for mine. Also, once you do have the Quetzal Whistle, a nice thing you can do is sometimes you'll forget if you got like a Kebit or the cats because they both have Sabertooth in the name. Maybe just forgot what your rumor was. Or you feel like you're doing the wrong thing because you're going dry. You can right click hit rumor and it will tell you. So I have the Razorback Kebit, which is good because I was about to go for the cats over here. The Kebits are right here. It's a deadfall trap, so you can only place one. This is the best spot because you can catch the snowy knight right here, the butterfly. And then you stand right here. And then while you're waiting on your trap, you can catch it every single time it spawns. So you get increased XP per hour, specifically in this spot for this test. So that's a good little tip right there. And now I'm just gonna loot these until I eventually get the rare hunter piece that I will then take back to the guild, get a nice round 5,000 XP drop and some loot. Now, sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you get unlucky. Sometimes you can literally get the rare creature part on your first catch. Sometimes it's in the first five. And then sometimes you have to catch like a hundred chinchampas or a hundred swamp lizards. It's a lot of RNG. Once you do eventually get the rare creature part, it'll play a really satisfying noise. And it'll also tell you in your chat, as soon as you get that, you take it back to the hunter that gave you the rumor and you get a lot of XP, like I said. And yeah, I've really been enjoying this hunter update. It's giving me so many supplies for my Iron Man, banking Herblore supplies, banking Prayer XP. I've also even got almost a thousand chins from this, which I had none beforehand because I was already 99 range and didn't feel the need to. This is actually kind of nice because you can use chins and stuff like the TOA monkey room. So I have uses for them. And it's also gotten one of my least favorite skills, which was Hunter before this update. That was my lowest skill at like 73, I believe. And now I've leveled it all the way up to 82, doing over 100 Hunter rumors. I'm really enjoying that it's reviving like the old content of runescape all of these different cool hunter creatures we had in the game that pretty much were just not viable to do and i'm not even i don't even know how much xp an hour this is but it feels really good i even try to weave in birdhouse runs in between my hunter rumors and i've been just leveling left and right and getting amazing iron man supplies so i highly recommend trying this out especially if hunter is one of your lower skills thanks for watching consider like and subscribing for more iron man or runescape guides and good luck hunting